Ever wonder if we're the real aliens on Earth? It's a fascinating question that challenges our understanding of what it means to be native to a planet. First, let's talk about what makes a planet alien. The term alien often conjures images of strange, otherworldly beings and environments that are vastly different from what we know. We often think of aliens as beings from other planets, right? These planets, with their extreme conditions and unfamiliar landscapes, seem so different from our own. But what if I told you that Earth, our home, is an alien planet in itself? This idea flips our perspective and makes us question our assumptions about what is familiar and what is foreign. Think about the conditions on Earth. They're incredibly unique. Our planet boasts a diversity of ecosystems, from lush rainforests to arid deserts, each with its own distinct characteristics. The precise distance from the sun, the presence of water, and the right mix of gases in the atmosphere create a delicate balance that supports life as we know it. These perfect conditions aren't so common in the universe. In fact, finding another planet with a similar set of circumstances is like searching for a needle in a cosmic haystack. To another being from a different planet, Earth could be as bizarre and alien as, say, Mars is to us. Imagine an extraterrestrial looking at Earth and marveling at its blue oceans and green forests. Now let's consider us, humans. We are a species that has adapted to a wide range of environments from the icy tundras to the scorching deserts. We've always assumed we're native to this planet. Our evolutionary history suggests a long and complex journey of adaptation and survival. But many scientists have argued that some aspects of human biology don't quite fit with Earth's environment. This has led to intriguing theories about our origins. For instance, humans suffer from back pain, a sign that our bodies might be better suited to a planet with less gravity. This raises questions about whether our ancestors evolved under different gravitational conditions, and our skin is surprisingly vulnerable to the sun's UV rays compared to other species. This vulnerability suggests that we might not be perfectly adapted to our current environment. What about life in general? The diversity of life on Earth is astounding, with millions of species each uniquely adapted to their niches. The process of evolution has led to an astonishing diversity of life forms, all adapted to Earth-specific conditions. Natural selection has shaped life in ways that are both beautiful and complex, but some extremophiles, like bacteria that thrive in boiling acid or radioactive waste, seem almost more at home in environments that are hostile to us. These organisms challenge our understanding of what is necessary for life. It's as if life on Earth is a cosmic experiment in adaptability. The sheer variety of life forms suggests a remarkable capacity to thrive under diverse conditions. Then there's the panspermia theory. This hypothesis proposes that life might have originated elsewhere in the universe and traveled here on comets or meteorites. If true, it means that all life on Earth is essentially alien. This idea expands our understanding of life's origins and suggests a cosmic connection between different worlds. If life did indeed come from elsewhere, it means that the diversity of species we see today is a result of an ancient journey through space. So, are we the real aliens on Earth? This question invites us to reconsider our place in the universe and the possibility that we are part of a larger cosmic story. It's a tantalizing thought that blurs the line between native and foreign. The more we learn, the more we realize how interconnected everything is. In the grand scheme of the universe, maybe we're all just visitors, trying to make sense of our strange and wonderful home. Our journey of exploration and understanding continues. Now that we've explored the idea of Earth as an alien planet, let's delve into an equally fascinating topic, the origins of life. How did life begin on Earth? Was it a cosmic event, or did it start right here on our home planet? One of the most intriguing theories is panspermia, which suggests that life might have originated elsewhere in the universe and traveled here on comets or meteorites. Imagine a comet hurtling through space, carrying with it the essential ingredients for life. When it crashes into a young Earth, it deposits these building blocks, setting the stage for the incredible diversity of life we see today. But how plausible is this theory? Recent discoveries have found complex organic molecules on comets and meteorites, lending some credence to the idea that life could have been seeded from space. These molecules could survive the harsh conditions of space and the fiery descent through Earth's atmosphere. 
If true, panspermia means that every living organism on Earth, from the tiniest microbe to the largest whale, shares a cosmic ancestry. On the other hand, many scientists argue that life could have originated right here on Earth through a process known as abiogenesis. This theory posits that life emerged from simple organic compounds in Earth's early oceans. These compounds, under the right conditions, formed increasingly complex molecules, eventually leading to the first primitive cells. The famous Miller-Urey experiment in the 1950s showed that amino acids, the building blocks of life, could be synthesized from simple chemicals under conditions thought to resemble those of early Earth. This experiment provided strong evidence that life's origins could be entirely terrestrial. Regardless of how life began, it's clear that Earth provided the perfect conditions for it to flourish. The presence of liquid water, a stable climate, and the right mix of chemical elements created an environment where life could evolve and diversify. So, whether life started as a cosmic journey or a terrestrial phenomenon, it highlights the remarkable adaptability and resilience of life. It also raises profound questions about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. If life can emerge in the unique conditions of Earth, could it also arise on other planets with similar environments? Every discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos and the extraordinary journey that led to the emergence of life on Earth. Up next, we'll dive into the idea that we are all made of stardust. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing countless stars scattered across the vast expanse of the universe. It's a humbling sight, isn't it? But have you ever wondered about the connection between those distant stars and us? Let's talk about stardust. Yes, stardust. It might sound like something out of a fairy tale, but it's a scientific fact that the elements that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars. When stars reach the end of their life cycles, they explode in supernova scattering their enriched guts across the cosmos. These elements, like carbon, oxygen, and iron, eventually come together to form new stars, planets, and even life itself. Think about that for a moment. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, and the carbon in your DNA were all created in the fiery cores of ancient stars. This means that we are, quite literally, made of stardust. It's a profound realization that connects us to the universe in a deeply intimate way. We're not just inhabitants of Earth. We're part of a cosmic tapestry that spans billions of years and light years across. But our cosmic connection doesn't end there. The very atoms that make up our bodies have been on an incredible journey. They've traveled through space and time, witnessing the birth and death of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the emergence of life on Earth. In a sense, we carry the history of the universe within us. This cosmic perspective also invites us to consider the possibility of life elsewhere in the universe. If the ingredients for life are scattered throughout the cosmos, then it's plausible that life exists on other planets too. The discovery of exoplanets in the habitable zones of distant stars has fueled our curiosity and expanded our understanding of what it means to be alien. So when we ponder the question of whether Earth is an alien planet, we must also recognize that we are part of a larger cosmic story. Our origins are intertwined with the stars, and our journey of exploration is a continuation of the universe's grand narrative. As we gaze up at the stars, let's remember that we are not just observers of the universe. We are participants in its ongoing evolution. As we continue our journey beyond the stars, let's dive into the fascinating concept of the cosmic dance of life. Have you ever wondered how the intricate ballet of the universe shapes life on Earth and possibly elsewhere? Imagine the universe as a grand stage where every celestial body plays a role in a cosmic performance. The stars, planets, and galaxies are the dancers, moving in harmony to the music of gravity and time. This cosmic dance has been unfolding for billions of years, creating the perfect conditions for life to emerge and flourish. One of the most captivating aspects of this dance is the role of supernovae. When massive stars reach the end of their life cycles, they explode in a spectacular display of energy, scattering essential elements across the cosmos. These elements, like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, are the building blocks of life. Without supernovae, the universe would be a barren place, devoid of the complex chemistry needed for life to exist. But the cosmic dance doesn't end with the creation of elements. It continues with the formation of solar systems. 
Our own solar system, for example, was born from a swirling cloud of gas and dust, enriched by previous generations of stars. This protoplanetary disk eventually gave rise to the Sun and its family of planets, including Earth. As our young planet cooled, it became a fertile ground for the emergence of life. The interplay of water, minerals, and energy created a primordial soup, setting the stage for the first living organisms to appear. These simple life forms evolved over millions of years, adapting to their environment and diversifying into the myriad species we see today. But what about life beyond Earth? The cosmic dance suggests that the ingredients for life are not unique to our planet. The discovery of exoplanets in the habitable zones of distant stars has opened up the tantalizing possibility that life may exist elsewhere in the universe. These distant worlds, with their own unique dances, could harbor life forms that are vastly different from anything we've ever imagined. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we are not just searching for alien life, we are also seeking to understand the fundamental nature of life itself. The cosmic dance reminds us that we are part of a larger interconnected web of existence. Our story is a chapter in the grand narrative of the universe, a tale that has been unfolding for billions of years and will continue to do so for billions more. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that you are witnessing a cosmic dance, a dance that has shaped the stars, crafted the planets, and given rise to life. It's a dance that connects us to the universe in ways we are only beginning to understand. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Stay curious, keep exploring, and remember that we are all part of the cosmic dance of life. Until next time, keep looking up and marveling at the wonders of our universe. Peace.